Hey guys, Jimmy, Digital Real Estate Solutions. Today we're going to talk about posting listings onto Facebook. Now, if you remember back um, in the first video, we talked about Facebook not liking people to leave their platform. So locally, a lot of realtors will um, type in the URL of their listing. It'll populate a picture and that's all fine and dandy. The issue is, is because you're driving people off the monetized platform, you're not getting the eyeballs you should get. So this is what we recommend you do. Um, and this is kind of what they prefer. So let's say we're listing a house um, in where I live, Tampa Bountiful. Okay, so beautiful, bountiful rambler. Don't miss out on this fully updated home. For under 300k message me for details okay so there you go I'll, there's a method to my madness and I'll tell you what it is here in a second so this is certainly not well here we go so we'll use this one okay you want to put multiple pictures take the pictures yourself and put the best put your best foot forward right uh, message me or or call me I, I should have paid attention in type class message me or call me for details so I'm not gonna lie to you this is gonna anger other agents okay um, they get pithy if you don't post all the details because they're too lazy to do the work now that's neither here nor there I'm not gonna judge somebody for that but this is why you do it this way now you're welcome to if um, compliance requires you to post an MLS number, I suggest you do it in the top comment of the post. And don't put a link to it. Just put MLS number 1512550, right? So what this does for you is very simple. People are going to start posting. Where is this at? What schools is it near? How many beds and baths? Now, mind you, those are buyers. So you got to stay on top of your post, right? So post multiple great pictures, okay? Use a lot of detail. You can use emojis in this. There's some great emoji programs out there. Uh, people like it. It catches their interest. Uh, give people just enough detail to wet their whistle and reach out to you. This is how you find buyers. Okay. Um, if to be compliant, you have to post more, then you have to post more. But you do not have to post that link that leaves Facebook. And if so for some reason you do because your broker told you to or if for compliance reason in your state you need to, put it in the first comment. Don't make people work a little for it so you can get more people. If people like um, your post or comment on it, we suggest not only do you respond to them, but you message them. You basically friend them and send them a message and say, hey, you know, you know, I saw you're looking at the house. These are the breakdown of the details. Were you looking for something like this or just something in the particular area? Start a conversation. Um, be, you know, be the advocate. You be the professional. This is your job. You do it daily. You know far more about real estate than they do. Um, and, you know, and, and turn turn uh, looky-loos into buyers. Now, you're going to get a lot of action off this, a lot of people that have no business responding to it. You're going to have to wade through it. However, I know plenty of guys that have spent thousands of dollars and made, you know, five, ten times their return on investment on these things. This is a free way to post leads, not only on your personal page, but on your in the Facebook groups. Now, um, because I didn't mention it, I do not recommend you launch ads or posts from your business page. The only point of your business page is for people to give you reviews, um, you know, five star reviews, whatever else, um, unless you've got some massive following. Because here's the reality if you're a KW agent or EXP or Century 21 or whatever that may be, um, you can't directly compete with the millions of dollars they're spending in advertising. So what makes you think is a $5 a day post is going to do a whole lot with your broker or realtor Facebook page? Run stuff off your personal page. People want to see your reel, and that's how you do it. So any questions, reach out to us. Again, we appreciate your time. This is a pretty brief overview, but again, real quick, be vague. Give enough deal, details to wet the whistle. Post great pictures. You know, Make sure that they're not crappy foam pictures turned the wrong way. Take real quality photos. Even if it's the photos you're using for your listing, use good photos and accentuate the good positives of your house. You'll find deals. I promise you, you will. You know, check the times you post. 
Um, evenings are great for people because they're off work and they're looking. Post into the yard sale groups. Use the free services you have that will reach, you know, millions of people and maybe in your local area, hundreds of thousands of people right away. Um, you know, this works as good as the MLS um, and sometimes even better because you're going to get in front of people that didn't know you were doing this. So anyway, quick brief overview of how to post listings. We'll get in more detail later, but I wanted to give you the heads up. Again, this is Jimmy. Uh, have a great day.